What's going on guys and welcome to a very different video than what I'm normally doing. So as you can see in the background right now, this VOD I have pulled directly from Twitch. And you can hear the music, you can hear me, and this is this sounds normal, right? But with the latest update and 26.1 in OBS, you can actually assign what goes to your Twitch VOD now. So you can get something like this. So as you can see in this clip right here, which I pulled directly as well, the day after, is you can now hear the music has been removed from my Twitch VOD. You can still hear me and all the good stuff. Okay, so let me show you how we can get this done. Uh -oh. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to VB Audio Software. To get to this website, go into the description below and click on this link right here. It should be the top one you can get to. Then you're going to see two big orange buttons. And obviously, choose the download button that corresponds to your operating system. So you've got Windows and Mac. I've got Windows, so I want to give that a click. Go into Downloads. Showing folder. This should now be here. So all you're going to want to do is extract to VB cable driver pack 43. Double click this, scroll down, and you want to use x64 64 bit. And then what you're going to want to do here is right here, click install. I've currently got it installed. That's why it says remove. It will then bring up a window telling you to restart your computer. Once you do that, Come back to this video and then continue from where you left off. Okay, so what you're going to want to do after you've installed the virtual audio cable is in OBS, click on settings, go to output, then output, make sure your output mode is set to advanced, then come down here to where it says audio track. This is what is being sent to Twitch for your viewers to watch live. So make sure this is selected, but it's not assigned to track number two. So I currently have track number six. It's out of the way and it doesn't get confusing with anything else. Once you've done that, click on Twitch VOD track and give this a tick right here. And then make sure this is assigned to track number two as stated in the OBS 26.1 patch notes. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to the left hand side, click on audio, make sure your desktop audio is set to default or the audio a device you currently use, maybe a headset, something like that. Now in mic, is click on the drop down arrow and make sure you've got cable output, VB audio virtual cable selected, as well as your microphone, which you could be using. So this right here is my GoXLR. This is saying disabled because all my interface is being done externally via the GoXLR. So make sure you add cable down here. So what's going to happen now, if you are not using a GoXLR, you're going to have three down here. You're probably going to have your desktop, your microphone, and your new one you've just installed, which is your virtual audio cable. So on your desktop, all you need to do is click on the cog, go to, property, uh, go to rename, sorry, and rename this Twitch VOD. Click OK. Now on your microphone that you have, Click on the cog, rename, and just keep this as microphone. And then on the new one you have, make sure, because I don't have this, I'm gonna rename this one. So with the third one you have, click on the cog, rename, and put this to music. But make sure in here, in your properties, the one you've assigned to music is your virtual audio cable device. So as long as your music is on virtual audio cable, you'll be fine. Now, once you've done that, click on audio mixer with your right click, audio, advanced audio properties, and now this is gonna come up. So you should see your Twitch VOD, which is your desktop, your game sounds and all that. Then you're gonna have music. This is what you need to look at. So you want everything in here that you have this could be including your microphone, is make sure it is on the track you selected in settings. So here in your audio track, this is what's being sent to your live stream. I've got it set to six. So make sure everything is set to six, so six and six. Now, 
your Twitch VOD should be assigned to track number two. And your music can be unticked on everything apart from where your audio source is being sent to the stream. That is all you need to do. Then you can click close. And now that's done. Next, what you're going to want to do is you want to open your Spotify or your music application. Make sure it's playing. So I'll just play a song from here. So let's just play this one. So you can't hear it right now, but it is playing. And what you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom right -hand corner, right click onto your audio device and go on open sound settings. In here, you want to scroll to the bottom, go to advanced sound options, click on this down here, and then look for your music application device, which is Spotify, and make sure that gets assigned to cable output. Uh, input, sorry. Cable input virtual audio device. There you go. You can close this now. And now you can see down here with whatever's assigned to your music should now be lighting up green. And unfortunately, with the virtual audio cable, you cannot hear the music yourself, but your stream can. Okay, so now if you're using a Go XLR, all you need to do is click on the little cog down here, go into properties and change this to sample. Click that, click OK. Once you've done that, open your Go XLR application and make sure music is assigned to your sampler right down here. Okay. Once you've done that, you minimize, you go into your audio sound settings again, go to advanced sound options, but instead of this time putting it to a cable, assign this to music. Now you can close that down. And as you can see, the music is coming through here. So guys, once you've done that, you're all done. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, give us a bit of feedback, and also hit that subscribe button as well. If you want to see any future gaming content that I produce, this is something I don't normally do, but I've had quite a few people recently, me, uh, literally 50 plus people asking, can you please show me this? What's this? What's this? And I have been trying to tell people on stream, but I thought I'd give it a bit more of a structure. So... If you want to talk about any more techie stuff or if you want to come and check out our Discord, head down to the link in the description and come and chill and chat with us. And you can also come and join in the live streams. We have a whole lot of fun and we have a whole lot of laughs. Mainly me laughing at myself, basically. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye bye.